Hi guys, I'm gonna do an unboxing video today on the PTR 91. Um, this gun is made by PTR, and here we go. Let's get started. Um, PTR pretty well known. They've been around for about 15 years in the industry, made out in South Carolina. Um, very rugged gun. I usually have one like this back in the day, but I sold it many, many years ago. Um, you know, shoot the big hard hitting 762 by 51, which is a civilian version with 308. Uh, semi automatic delay roller lock operation. Pretty much like a blowback, but have a little roller lock in here. Um, uh, uh, let's see, it came with a factory. HK, it's actually not a factory, it's an HK G3 Mac. Uh, it's made in 1984, right here. Yep, this thing costs around, on cheaper than dirt, be about $5 a mag. Um, for most high capacity mag, anything that costs less than $10 is considered pretty cheap for me. So I'm not complaining, you know, that just high capacity mag 20 rounders cost, you know, less than $10, be about five bucks. So, um, <clears throat> This one particular is came with a God. Need to be safety check here. Uh, it's tough here. Okay, the barrel is a heavy profile. Uh, it's all the fluid in the front. It's I don't think it fluid all the way around, just the front. Um, this newer version is not. Uh, you know the old uh, PTR came with the HK standard thread, but this don't. This is actually the 308 thread. Um, you know. It's uh, 5 8 by 24 so you know, it's a really, really good threat for, um, you know, put a suppressor on it um, or any kind of uh, muzzle device that you want to add on in the future. Came with a PT, uh, PTR exclusive handguard, uh, detachable, uh, pitted tiny rail here. And you actually can get more of these on the PTR website, uh, you know, can, all, all three sides, you know, the uh, 6 o'clock, 3 o'clock, and, uh, and, um, and a nine o'clock position. Um, like I say, the, uh, it's a delayed loader lock operation. Um, it's a one in 10 twist rate. This particular particular kind is a 16 inch barrel. They also made a 18 inch, which is the one I like. Um, the one I got before, actually it's the exact same gun, but with the different stocks. The one I got is, is a paratrooper stock. You can actually collapse it all the way into here, so it will save you another Oh, maybe six, six, seven inches uh, worth of length, you know, for storage, which is don't really matter. Let's see what else came with. Let's see here. Anything here in the back? Oh yeah, well standard. Like this. It came with the PTR quality inspection, which I inspect, you know, every individually, you know. Uh, um, this one's a bolt, bolt, but barrel and bore, receiver, the trunnions, the goop. The bolt group, bolt carrier group, fit and finish. Yeah, you know, it's just pretty standard. And the owner manual, of course. And a lock, which is by law. All firearms which be shipped with a lock nowadays. So, which is no biggie. <clears throat> yeah. Um, accuracy wise, I believe it's more accurate than I am. Um, I used, like I say in the, uh, uh, earlier, I got this exact same gun, uh, iron sight. Well, I got it uh, back in the day before they add this, you know, welded Pititina rail on top here, which is now your accessory, your scope, and uh, stuff like that. But I don't have that back in, uh, in uh, when I got my uh, PTR 91 with the collapsible stock. But it's, uh, you know, it's uh, um, uh, accuracy wise, be about, oh, Iron sight, 100 yard, maybe anywhere from four, four to five inch, which is really good for uh, uh, for iron sights, uh, no complaints. And um, uh, this particular thing is uh, a gun. It's also come with a mesh grade barrel, so I, you know, if I scoped it, it'd probably be a lot better than you know, <clears throat> yeah, they shoot a lot better than I am. Um, so, you know, no biggie. Let me take it apart and I'll show you what the del delay rotor lock look like. Let's chew a pin here. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty looped up here. Here's the a bus stock. I don't think it's a surplus stock. Let me see. Nope, it's not a surplus stock. I think this probably new, 
that either made either made new or they imported new or they got it from uh, PTR made it themselves. Yeah. <clears throat> Lower. Huh, I don't know what the X stands for, but there's an X there. Yep, this is a legit G3 HK um, trigger groups. I believe it's the, yeah, it's HK. I can tell it's HK. Yeah, with the little little seal block here, you know, the grind is out. So uh, the full auto seal will fit in here and it will cycle your gun, you know, fully automatic, but they cut that out so that make it, you know, a semi-automatic um, configuration. Put the thing back together. Easy to put it in like the way I put it in my MP5, so you know. Okay, yeah, this thing is really right here. Well, it's a long bolt carrier, but this thing's pretty looped up, guys. Um, yeah, it's made by PTR. Yep, you can tell it's made by this, you know, little, yeah, little PTR right here. Yep, I don't see any problem with this. Uh, you see the roller right here on both sides. Yeah, they call it delay roller lock. So you know the um, the bullet ex uh, have to be exit exit the uh, barrel before the gun cycle. So that's what they call the delay roller lock for all HK. Um, we call it a HK, you know, operation delay roller lock operation. No brainer. Look like can make from a really really high quality um, steel machine, not from the CNC machine not cast I don't think it's a cast I don't think it is cast yep and this is actually a true piece you see the well mark right here right there it will actually they make they they machine this part and the tube here in two separate parts and weld it back together to make it one solid piece so if it you know I, I believe this is really going to be a will be a great gun um, put it back together yeah, putting the thing on sometimes it's a required a little. Gotta be so really, gotta be really, really straight. Be able to put it in together. Be real straight. Yep, gonna be really pulled it all the way out. Because when why you know because have because when you slam this in. There's a roller that locked out in the train, and so that make it, you know, uh, uh, you know, that's a ro what they call the roller lock. So don't worry that for. Put the thing back together. Mm, man, this thing gonna be tough. Yeah, very solid gun. Uh, on the website I checked earlier, they mentioned the weight about nine and a half pounds, but man, I assume it's heavier than uh, nine and a half, probably a 10 pound or somewhere like that. But you know, it's very rugged. It's still very, very solid, you know, not that a lot of, even the handguard pretty solid. Yeah, the stock pretty solid. Um, that's all I got for you guys. Uh, thank you very much for watching the videos and uh, please like, subscribe and share. Um, have a good day.